guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna hop right into our video because this is gonna be so much fun for me. So what we're doing is I am gonna throw out pop culture, like millennial lingo that Adam has probably never heard because he's been gone for 20 years and he's gonna either let us know what it is. You might know what some of it is because I talk like I'm 13 years old sometimes or you can guess what you think it is. Give it your best shot, okay? You ready? Let's go. You think you've heard some of this inside from some of the younger guys, like the kids that come in? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, you've heard, definitely heard me say this, but I don't know if you knew what it meant, but you might. So what does it mean, like if I say AF? AF? Yeah. AF? Yeah, like I am tired AF. As f yeah, I mean some of these I can figure out. Yeah, for those that haven't heard me curse, you just did a zaddy. A zaddy? Yeah, but not a just zaddy. Zaddy? Yeah. Like, give it to me. Like, how how, how would you use zaddy? <sighs> Look at that zaddy. <laughs> zaddy. Mmm. Zaddy. Who, who would say it, a woman or a man? A woman would say that. Look at that zaddy. Yeah. That super fine guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you know what a MILF is? Mother I like Yeah. You. So it's like the man, like a dad version. Really? It's called yeah. a zaddy? Yeah. He oozes sex appeal experience and swag. He's not a MILF, although it combines the two elements, hotness and age. So like okay. you're a zaddy, you know, you know kids. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that just aging? No. Oh. People would look at me and say she's a male. Mm, but I'm a kid. Definitely would. Okay, you, I 100 million percent know that you know this. Cray. Cray. Yeah. Cray Yazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I live with it. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Gucci, not the brand. Oh, that it. That's so Gucci. Yeah. Yeah. What does it mean? That's just like that's a new hot thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, that was one that I, I definitely heard a lot. It was still on the inside. Okay, here's another one. Squad goal. Squad goal. Yeah. Squad goal. Uh, Do you know what squad is? Like your crew? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you know, like, what is, like, relationship goals? Do you know what that means? Uh, not really. Okay, so people have put that on our picture or like one of, one of our videos. So they'll be like, hashtag relationship goals. So what's relationship goals mean? Like you aspire to be that guy. Yeah. So squad goals. You aspire to be that crew? Yeah. I mean, what kind of squad goals? Put that in. We're in crew friends, right? Mm -hmm. And then this group is having a party over here. You'd be like, ooh, squad goals. We want to be able to do that. Or they go on vacation and take these lavish pictures. Got it, got it. Oh, I know nice. this one too. Bible. Bible? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Kardashians made this popular. What? Uh -huh. Bible? Yeah. Like, put it, give me context here. Okay, so I just don't think you're ever going to guess it. it. I know it because I watched the show. Let yeah. me just tell you. Yeah. So, like, you know who would be like, I swear to God, or swear to your mother, or whatever. So if they're having a conversation, and they'll be like, say Bible. On like, my mother. swear on the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. On my mother. Yeah. Whatever you're going to swear on. Right. You just say Bible. Yeah, you'd be like, Bible. Or we just uh, abbreviate it, just cut it to Bible. Right. I can see that coming from a family that their father was a lawyer. Bible. Oh, okay. Adulting. Adulting. Yeah. Uh, taking care of others. Basically acting like an like, adult. Uh, so that like a slogan on a shirt would be like, I don't feel like adulting today. Like anything where, ugh, I'd rather go to the mall than pay my rent, but I gotta adult today. Being responsible. Yeah, yeah exactly. Got it. Turnt. Turnt up? Yeah. Snatch. Snatch. Stole somebody's girl? Yes, but that's old. So snatch means something different now. <laughs> like like a MILF Oops. is snatched. Or like a zaddy is snatched, but it's more you'd say this about a woman. She's snatched. She's hot? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one. On fleek. On fleek? Yeah. Spell it. F-L-E-E-K. Fleek. Yes. On fleek. I don't I know. I gave it away. It means the exact same thing. Like, ooh, your outfit's on fleek. It's on point. We used to say on point in our generation. Yep. Okay. 
on sleek. Lit. Lit. I mean, lit could be high. Lit could be just feeling good. I mean, anything in that. The way that the millennials use it or the kids use it now is be like, would be, what is that? <laughs> Don't worry about it, they speak row. They do, they speak You row. guys know enough now to, uh, to understand her rowisms. Would be like, ooh, that party was lit. Meaning like, that was so great, so hot. Keep it 100. You, I'm sure we've been in prison before. <coughs> Probably came from prison. Yeah, I think there are plenty of phrases that were started in prison that now made its way out into the social lexicon. Social lexicon. Wow. No. What a word. Yeah, I don't think that's accurate. I don't care. You know, don't tell anybody that. That was cool. When Adam's cousin Josh was here, he was saying, because I was like, let's do like prison lingo. And he's like, you guys don't realize you speak prison lingo to each other. And we don't understand sometimes what you're saying, uh, which is crazy. Well, we're, you're, we're using terms. Right. Like the yard. Right. The hole. About, yeah, going to the yard, being yeah. in the hole. Yeah. I guess there, there's a certain vernacular that comes along with, you know, yeah. prison. You ready for this one? Sure. Thank you, next. Ooh, Thank you, next? Yeah. Um, yeah. You're basically expecting something from somebody. Keep going with your thought. I think you got it. Like you're expecting somebody to do something for you. Sort of. It's like if your boyfriend cheats on you or if you get stood up on a date, it's like, thank you, next. It's, it's from an oh, Ariana Grande song. Yeah, okay. keep it moving. Yeah. Exactly. It's from an Ariana Grande song. All right. Sorry, not an Ari Ariana Grande fan. What's Netflix and chill? Uh, Did I tell you that answer already? I think so, but I can figure it out. Like, what? hey, you want to come over and watch a movie? There's another connotation to that, though. Really? That's code to say, do you want to hook up? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like when we were kids? You want to come over and watch a movie? We obviously had very different 13 year old <laughs> <laughs> social lives. <laughs> do you want to come over and pop a VHS tape in the VCR? <laughs> meant, for me, let's watch the Babysitter's Club. For you, it meant that's not what it meant. Netflix right. and chill that's in right. 1984. Or however old you were. <laughs> What's salty? Salty, upset. Yeah, mm. I, don't, I think that's older. Yeah, I've used salty I mean, for years. Just, I think that's always been around. You know, I'm done. I'm so done. Just over it. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. I, Aside from like, no, like, like I'm, I'm in big really, trouble. Yeah. No, it doesn't mean that anymore. I'm dead means like you made me laugh so hard I suffocated to death. So like my sister will make me laugh and I'll just be like I'm dead. Ah, uh, okay. What are stands? Stand. I recently learned this one. Yeah. Like a one night stand? Oh, that's good. No, but stand like um, like the man's name. Oh, stand. Stand. I always stand the same as a, uh, uh, what's her name? Karen? Stand. She knows Karen! You <laughs> <laughs> stand the male version of a Karen? I love that, but no, but I love oh. that. Chad or Brad is a male Karen. Chad or Brad? Yeah. All right, that's sad because I know some Chads that are good guys, sorry. Of course, I know some Karens who are wonderful. Sure, me too. So, what's a stand? Stand like... Uh, You're gonna so get it. You're gonna be like, oh. Okay, a stand is a super fan. Like, we have stands on our channel and it comes from the Eminem song. Oh, yep. wow. I had to Google that one time, so that's the only reason I knew that. Well, wait, that's kind of a... Right. A new pop culture term for an old pop culture But it was reference. negative. Correct. Yeah. It right. was negative in his song. Mm -hmm. But I believe it's positive now. Like, you want stands? I think. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. Are stands, like, stalkers? Or are they, like, super fans in a good way? Let us know. Because I'm not positive about that. Hmm. Oh, FR. You've heard this a quadrillion times in prison. Just FR, FR, and you've heard the whole word. You've heard the whole phrase twice, because that's our old... For, for real? Yeah. 
For real, for real. Yeah, because that's our generation. We say for real, for real. You know, damn Gina. That's that's old. That's, that's like a, that's a Martin reference. Yes, yeah, that's really old. Which that's got to come from prison because Martin still plays daily in prison. As well as seriously, you know, by Felicia, right? By Felicia. Yeah. Do you know by Felicia? Uh, it's not ringing any bells. So, no. by Felicia is when you're like somebody's being annoying and you're over them or you're over it and you'll be like, bye Felicia. Well, where does that come from? It comes from the movie Friday. Oh, oh wow. Because Felicia was annoying. And Friday yeah, was like yeah. our. No, we're not. Do you know cancel or cancel culture? Cancel culture? No. Ooh, can you guess it? Like, we live in a cancel culture on YouTube when you're insta famous, that kind of thing. I don't know. So cancel, if you're canceled, is if let's say you did something wrong that everybody in the world perceives as wrong and it's like controversial, then you're canceled. And we live in a cancel culture because you can't say anything without somebody attacking you anymore. Sure. So there's people who are actually like an anti-cancel culture. Really? Or like if we do something that's offensive to people on our YouTube channel, they're gonna cancel us. Somebody, not want just somebody's always offended. Of course. Yeah. I think that's the point. Hmm. To delete someone or something out of your life, a broader version of ghosting. Okay. What's woke? Woke. Stay woke. Yeah. Stay woke. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's probably one of the most common phrases right now. Right. Extra. Extra. Um, somebody on the side, the other man or so person. No, it means like if somebody is always going above and beyond. Like it's usually if a woman has to always have her makeup and her lashes and her bag and all this stuff just to go check the mail. She is so extra. Or if I'm freaking out, right, and I'm being super dramatic, like we were coming down the mountain the other day, I was being so extra. I should have just shut up and gone. But no, I had to be extra. Go. You weren't, you weren't dramatic. Or like, when I had that crying fit the other day, I was extra. Maybe that wasn't extra, that was, we're gonna take that part out, but like. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is basic. Basic, like, eh. Just not interesting. Not, that's so basic. Or he or she is so basic. Correct, like a it Karen is always so basic. So predictable. A white girl who goes to Starbucks in October to get a pumpkin spice latte <laughs> just to post that picture on Instagram. You're definitely offending someone right now. <laughs> I, I can be the most basic bitch ever sometimes, but it's so basic. Or okay. if, um... <laughs> Posting pictures from brunch of your avocado toast is so basic. It's just so predictable. Everybody's doing it. Is there anything that we do that's basic? Is there? Are mm. we basic bitches? What? I don't think we're basic. I think we missed the basic boat with the 213 year sentence. Definitely that. But we could be. I don't know. Are we basic? Karens are usually basic. Well, you are definitely not a Karen, and I am definitely not a Chad. But you're a daddy. I'll take that. Without the kids? And you can be the MILF without the kids. Okay, sounds good. We love you guys. Let us know if you like these kind of things because we could always do prison lingo that I could try to guess. We could do other fun things like this. It's fun for me. Is it fun for you or you just feel tortured no, for the a, ride? No, I had a great time. Yeah? You're not like a paper bag blowing through the wind? What's what's that pop culture reference? It's what? a Katy Perry song. It's a line Katy Perry song. <laughs> You're asking me if I know a Katy Perry song. <laughs> Okay, if you are interested in a video that I did where I <laughs> never told you about this, compared prison lingo that could technically be misconstrued as sexual innuendos, click that video right there. If you're not already subscribed and you want to see more of this, I mean, why wouldn't you want to see more of this? Click that red circle, no, click that circle there with the red box below. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.